How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review. Today we're going to be reviewing this 2017 Ford F350 Super Duty. Now this is the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine and this is a contractor's truck. This con the, con the guy that owns this pretty much, it's basically his it's where he lives so unfortunately today like during like a lot of like the b-roll and stuff you're gonna see the interior it's completely messy but it's true honest like work truck so we were gonna clean it out we were gonna kind of make it nice for the video but figured might not like sugarcoat it and just kind of tell it how it is right now we have very limited time like in between jobs and stuff so Right now we're kind of driving this thing and it is an absolute beast. Handles like a freaking tank. This thing can pull up to 32 and a half thousand pounds. It's also got a payload rating right over 7,600 pounds. I don't know how much it weighs, but I mean, I'll probably edit it on the screen right now, but you can feel all the weight in every freaking turn. And probably the coolest thing about this is the power numbers that it's making. So again, it's the seven, uh, 6.7, excuse me, turbo diesel engine. So there's a big ass turbo in there. The turbo gauge on the dash, actually the gauge goes up to like 40 PSI. So I don't know what the max PSI is from factory. But when you kind of step on it, like you hear the turbo spool up, and it kind of it actually sinks you back into the seat, which I find so cool that you can kind of like get that reaction out of it while driving it. Now this thing, again, it, it is a diesel. It's got 216,000 miles on it, just under 217 actually. The guy who owns this all over the country, basically their company, they do work all, all across anywhere really. So he's always traveling with it, going from hotel to hotel, job site to job site. And this is actually a foreman's truck as well. So it's constantly carrying like a big ass, like 20 something thousand pound trailer full of equipment. So it, it's definitely seen a lot of abuse and seen a lot of work throughout its day. And again, even though it's only a 2017, it's still got so many, so many damn miles on it. But a cool thing about a lot of your diesel engines, as you put more miles on it, on them, they actually tend to run better and they, they tend to be like more reliable, which is quite interesting because that's an entirely different dynamic that, that you get from like a normal uh, gas engine. But going back to the power numbers, this thing makes 440 peak horsepower, 20, 2800 RPMs, which that's not too impressive until you look at the torque. And it makes a whopping 750 foot pounds of torque only at 2000 RPM. So as soon as you get on it, it, it kind of throws you back in the seat and then once that turbo spools up it it really like starts to get going now this is the dually so you got the two uh or i guess four total tires in the rear big ass truck it's got the like goose you can attach the gooseneck trailer to it and everything big bed and again there's currently like stuff in the bed you'll see some of it like while we're while we're doing the b-roll and editing in here but it's it, i mean it's it's freaking sick now i personally i haven't really you know reviewed a boatload of trucks on the channel i mainly do cars you know suvs even motorcycles like things of that nature modded vehicles but this feels like even when you're in it it feels like the truck of all trucks it's just so damn massive i know i'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that are like oh well this one's bigger this one's bigger whatever but the F350, obviously, it's the biggest one in the F-Series lineup for your Ford pickup trucks. Now, this one, we do know it, it kind of has like the gator skin seats. So very, very comfortable. And also there's some like added features and everything. But again, it is older. So like the whole infotainment system in the front is pretty much broken. So again, this is kind of like a bad... I guess F350 to do a review on because it's seen so much like work and abuse. But I'm trying to put out a lot of content for you guys, trying to get back to like a normal uploading schedule. So I apologize for that. Um, you know, we can't really show like all the different features of the infotainment system in this video because again, it's, it's kind of broken. But yeah, even doing like that, that little pull there. It, it really does throw you like back in the seat. Now, one thing, like I'm coming up to a dead end here, and this is just so funny. Like for me, again, used to reviewing conventional vehicles, things that people drive on the roads every day, and now trying to pull a K turn on this little damn street in a park. There's no backup cameras or anything. 
I mean, normally when the infotainment system does work, you do have that backup cam, so that is nice. But again, this one, we're working with no backup cam, and I just pulled up to a dead end in the middle of some park. So I'm trying to make like a five point turn and back this thing up without hitting the wooden fence behind me. And it is just an absolute goddamn tank. You know, let's, let's put it this way. You're not gonna have something like this if you're living in like the city or like in New York City, uh, LA, something like that. You're not having something like this. I know a lot of people, a lot of the guys out in Texas or whatever, you know, you love your trucks, but I can't imagine like commuting with this thing in and out of urban areas a lot. Now again, this mainly sees highway miles. It's a lot of their job sites are typically in like rural areas, but this thing is a blast to drive. Now the guy who drives this is actually basically my relative and I'm a huge Packers fan. And we went out to uh, Wisconsin all the way from, with, uh, from New Jersey with this over this past January. So I've, I've, pl I've spent plenty of time in the passenger seat, not necessarily driving it, but I have to say like green, from New Jersey to Green Bay is about like 14, 16 hour drive. And it was super, super comfortable. I know, again, that's not an experience driving it per se, but uh, it's very, very comfortable with these seats. And with this cab, like it's like kind of like the extended cab or crew cab. Um, but it's just, there's so much room back here. With his crew, with the guys, if he's picking them up, going to a job site or whatever, there's plenty of space back there. It's an absolute freaking tank. So there's plenty of interior space if you're looking for that. You do have the uh, like gear selector right on the column as well. Uh, there is a manual mode. There is like your second and first gear options for, you know, I guess getting out of muddy situations, off-roading, whatever, or just trying to get that torque up, trying to get the turbo to spool up if you're towing something. But for the most part, driving this thing is extremely, extremely simple. Again, you have to be conscious that you're not driving a small SUV or a car or anything. You have to swing it wide around turns and all that. Um, but for the most part, it's very intuitive, very easy to function, and extremely, extremely damn comfortable. And back in 2017, you could probably pick one of these up from the dealership, probably around like the mid 50s, low 50s. The original M MSRP was actually 49.9. Now, yeah, that's not decked out on like the higher trim. I know this one is definitely like a higher end trim. You know, a couple other added features here, again, which we're unable to really show off that well because uh, the front, the, the damn infotainment system is broken. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the price, I could definitely see, you know, you being a contractor or owning a construction company or what have you. Uh, these are really good, really, really good bang for your buck. And again, it being a diesel, it's got so much damn life in it. Uh, now, obviously, 90% of those 217,000 miles have been highway miles, but still, I mean, there hasn't really been any like major, major issues besides like maybe cleaning injectors or replacing the injectors fully. Now I do know that uh, when, you know, your big, like your big rigs, like your 18 wheelers, tractor trailers, stuff like that, when they start to get really high in mileage, um, you know, they tend to go in for like full engine rebuilds and you know, all, it gets very, very complicated and uh, I don't know if they necessarily do that with like these smaller, like the 6.7 liter turbo diesels. If you if you know more about that, if you have more experience, feel free to like let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to learn more about it. But yeah, this thing is an absolute tank to drive. And honestly, with the amount of torque it has, I know obviously it's all purpose driven. We're not talking about performance here, but just the, the feeling of driving it is it's actually pretty damn fun for something that weighs this goddamn much and basically can do all the things that this does. It's still just fun to just drive it how it is and kind of step on it and hear the turbo spool up. And it's crazy too, because again, like I said before, that turbo gauge on the on the dashboard, it goes from all the way up to 40 PSI. And it gets to about like three, it went at full throttle. If you're at full throttle for about like five, seven seconds, it'll stay at like about three quarters up on that on that boost gauge. Three quarters of 40 PSI is around 30 PSI, so I'd have to assume 
that the, that the um, engine, you know, from factory is tuned for around like 30 something PSI, but like that, that is just ridiculous. It just, it feels so fun to drive this thing. And it's funny too, because if you've been subscribed to my channel, you know that my own personal preference in cars, obviously I like things that are modified, a lot of power, who the hell doesn't love to go fast. Um, but typically I love smaller vehicles. Like I've done many Mazda Miatas on my channel, a uh, decent amount of NAs. I've done, I've done videos on like a couple newer ones or just like walk arounds or whatever. And I love Miatas. I have a Mustang, which is kind of a light car, not really like the lightest out there, obviously. But I love light, small, little nimble vehicles. And compared to that, this is a complete oxymoron, complete other side of the spectrum when it comes to, you know, vehicles. And it's still fun. Like I'm still having fun with it. Now, I don't know if it's just me, um, but it, I don't know. I, I just think the amount of torque that this thing makes is, is what makes it fun. And the fact that you could just still like kind of throw yourself back in the seat with something that weighs this goddamn much is just fascinating to me but anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this 2017 f350 super duty and while you guys are down there definitely be sure to leave a like comment subscribe all, all that stuff it, it really does help me out a ton as a smaller car channel here on youtube obviously we're right at like 5,000 subscribers now on the channel so i feel incredibly happy let me know again your thoughts and opinions on this i know this review was kind of scuffed because we're using uh, an, an older like beat up work truck but it's a true work truck this is what these f-350s were made to do and it is doing it on a daily basis but anyways that's pretty much just gonna be it for me today so uh like always i hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one